Hey everyone, Star Knight here. For today's video, we're gonna be drawing Sono and Sunghun from Inhypen. I will also be sharing some digital art tips, so I hope you will be able to relax and learn something from this video. The first tip I can give is having a good workplace. A good workplace can help you be more productive, and it can also help you be more efficient in your digital drawing. This includes your shortcut keys, a well-organized menu system, and the ability to save and reuse some custom settings. These features will help a lot with your work, especially if you're on a tight deadline. Overall, a good workplace in a digital drawing program can help you be more comfortable and productive and efficient and creative in your work. By investing time in customizing your workplace to suit your needs, you can improve the quality and efficiency of your digital drawings. You can finish a lot of tasks if you have a good workplace. For me, this is what my workplace looks like. I have my tools and sub-tools on my left, while the color wheel and the layers are on the right side. Now a lot of you might say, having light mode hurts your eyes, but for me this works the best and I enjoy working in a bright environment. Aside from having a good workplace, it's also important to choose your brush wisely. There is a lot of brushes out there that you can use, and it's very overwhelming to pick which one is going to be the best for your drawings. But I suggest picking something that really connected with your style, because you know, a good brush will allow you to have a precise control over your strokes and it will make your digital drawing. A good brush can help you be more creative and expressive in your drawings. Because it will help a lot, especially if you do blending and detailing on your character. For me, I just use a flat brush and a round brush just to do my colors. As you can see in most of my process, I rely a lot with the lasso tool. I use it for coloring and some hard edges shading. Then after putting the base color, I start putting my shadows using my round brush and my flat brush back and forth. I love the painting style texture it gives and it helps a lot with my drawing to look lively. As you can see here, while I'm shading and putting the highlights on Sonu's hair, I'm using the flat brush and it gives a really good texture. Aside from having a good workplace and good brushes, it's also important to use a good reference. Having a good reference will help you achieve a lot of greater accuracy in your digital drawing, especially if you're trying to capture the lighting or the shadow of a specific object. Using references will ensure that your drawing is proportionate and realistic. Also, this will give you inspiration. You know, you can use more than one reference and combine everything. It's really fun to mix different references, and you will be very surprised of the outcome. Sometimes it's better than what we planned. And aside from getting inspirations from references, you can also learn a lot of valuable experience. This includes things like studying the work of other artists, or using references to practice new techniques or styles. You know, what I love with art is it's continually evolving. And this will help you to improve your skill and push yourself further. For me, I relied so much to reference, especially using other artists' work. I absorb all of the techniques that I think will work for my style, and I just use it as my own. You know, learning and being curious as an artist is really important. You should be always be curious to learn new things, because with those learning, it will turn into experience which will help you grow more as an artist and for sure you will improve your work. Now we're almost done drawing Sanu and one of my favorite elements here is definitely the fox. Look, a combination of a fluffy stuffed toy and Sanu's cuteness? What's more cuter than this? This is overload cuteness. And I decided to have like a bright sunset in the background since he's our cutie sunshine. After adding some final touches, here's the final result of our drawing. 
I really love how this turned out to be dreamy and cute. And I hope I was able to show you Sonu's cuteness. For our final illustration, now we're drawing Songhun. One tip I can give every time you start a new drawing is always sketch loosely. Because in your sketching part, this is where you will figure out the things that you want to add in your illustration and what are the things you want to fix. Here, you will have the freedom to keep changing things until you're satisfied because you haven't put so much details in that process. So as you can see here, I'm doing Sunghun's overall sketch. So here, I'm trying to figure out what are the elements I want to put and just the overall anatomy and composition. Another tip I can give is flipping your canvas. I know you've heard this a lot from different artists, but flipping your canvas will definitely help you checking your anatomy. Especially if you flip your canvas horizontally, it will allow you to view your artwork from a different angle. And this will help you to figure out any errors or inconsistencies in your composition. Let's say for example here, my Sunghun illustration. Since we have a front view here, it's really important that every line is symmetrical from the opposite side, which may not be noticeable when viewing your artwork from only just one angle. And flipping your canvas can also help you check the overall balance of your artwork. By flipping it, you can see if the composition feels weighted to one side or if it's visually pleasing. And flipping your canvas is very easy, especially if you're a digital artist. Unlike traditional artists where they need the, this LED light, we have an easier life from them. Lastly, I know I only said I'm gonna be giving 5 tips, but I want to add one more that really completes my whole piece. And the really really big help for me is actually the liquefying tool. For me, it's a very powerful tool and it helps me to modify and manipulate my illustration in so many ways. For example, I can stretch, pinch, or push parts of my illustration to create a more interesting effect. And using the liquify tool, it helps me to do my final touches and refine my details. And usually sometimes I don't see it, but whenever I'm in my final touches of illustration, I see some things that are not quite right. Let's say the eyes need to go up a little bit, then the liquidifying tool is really helpful. You know, all of this tip that I gave is there to make our lives more easier, but at the end of the day, it's still up to us how we're gonna use it to our full capability and how will this be efficient to our working process. There are so many techniques out there that just one video is not enough. And we can even make our own techniques that makes our life easier. Eventually, along the way, you're gonna learn all of these and your knowledge is gonna keep growing. And all you have to do is just take it. Now we're onto the final touches of my illustration. I hope you were able to relax and learn something new from this video. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. I had a lot of fun drawing both Sono and Songhan today, especially putting them in a theme of a cute overload. And I hope you enjoyed it too. For more contents like this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to comment down below what you want to see next, and I'll see you next time. Bye!